we're going to read The Boy in the Ocean. The little boy rolled over in his bed and he opened his eyes. And through his window, he could see the ocean. Big and blue, rolling waves, water crashing on the beach. The little boy stood at the window and he searched for the end of the ocean and he couldn't see it. He could see the ships on it. He could see the birds above it. He could see the horizon stretched across it, but the little boy couldn't see the end of it. He couldn't see the end of the ocean. Would you like to play in the ocean? His mother asked. And the little boy stood on the edge of the water with his mother. And she took his hand and he waded into the surf. And when the water covered his feet, he looked up at her. And when it reached his knees, he took a breath. And when the wave rushed against his chest, she laughed, and he did too. And the two sat in the sand and let the waves splash around them. God's love is like the ocean, my little boy, she said. It's always here. It's always deep. It never ends. God's love is special. The little boy spent the day playing near the ocean. And he counted the starfish and he built sand castles and he searched for shells. Most of all, he watched the ocean. He could see the clouds above it. He could feel the tide within it. He could taste the salt inside it, but he could never see the end of it. He couldn't see the end of the ocean. And that night, as the moonlight stretched across the sea and landed on his face, he listened to the waves slap, slap, slap against the sea. Go to sleep, my little boy, his mother whispered, and the ocean will not leave. The ocean will not change. The ocean is like God's love. Always here, always deep, it never ends. God's love is special. So the boy slept with the sound of the ocean in his ears. The next day, the little boy looked out a different window at the mountains, high and tall and white tip touching the clouds. The little boy looked from side to side to see the end of the mountains. He couldn't see it. He could see the trees growing among them. He could see the snow glistening on top of them. He could see the birds flying around them, but he couldn't see the end of the mountains. Would you like to hike the mountains? His father asked, and he took the boy's hand and together they started up the mountain trail. And when the leaves scattered over the boy's feet, he looked up at his father. And when the wind shook the tall trees, he took a breath and squeezed his father's hand. And when they looked out over the great valley, the father smiled, and the boy did too. And the two sat on a rock and looked around them. God's love is like the mountains, my little boy, the father said. It's always here. It's always big. It never ends. God's love is special. And the two spent the day playing in the mountains. The boy splashed in the creek. He picked flowers in the meadow. He listened to the singing birds. And most of all, he looked at the mountains. He could see the sky above them. He could feel the wind blow through them. He could hear the water that bubbled between them. But he could never see the end of them. He could never see the end of the mountains. That night, as the moon appeared from behind the peaks, the boy thought of the mountains and he smiled. Go to sleep, my little boy, his father whispered. The mountains will not leave. The mountains will not change. The mountains are like God's love. Always here, always tall. It never ends. God's love is special. 
So the boy slept with thoughts of the mountains in his dreams. The next day he ran on the beach and he swam in the water and he chased his puppy up the mountain trail and he looked for flowers. And when the day ended, he and his parents lay on the grass and they looked at the night sky, stars everywhere, twinkling, shimmering, diamonds in the dark. He looked as far as he could to see the end of the sky, but he couldn't see it. He could see the moon, yellow and round. He could see the clouds, puffy and fat. He saw a star race from one side of the sky to the other but he couldn't see the end of the sky. Would you like to count the stars, his father and mother asked? And so they tried. A dozen here, two dozen over there, but there were too many. And when he reached a hundred, the boy looked up at his father. And when the wind turned chilly, his father held him close. And his parents looked up into the big sky and became quiet, and so did he for a while. But then the boy spoke. God's love is like the night sky, he told them. It's always here. It's always big. It never ends. God's love is special. The boy, the mother, and the father stayed for a long, long time near the ocean, close to the mountains, beneath the sky, surrounded by God's love, and they smile.